The Rockford Ice Hawks head out on the road to square off against the Chicago Wolves this afternoon at Allstate Arena. Joseph Zakszewski with you alongside Ice Hawks defenseman Ian McCaution as the Ice Hawks just completed a nice five-game homestand. But Ian, I want to talk about a special cause that's near and dear to your heart, and it is the month of November, Hockey Fights Cancer Month. We caught up with you uh, about a week ago, an initiative that you brought to us and was excited to bring to us. Uh, I mean, walk us through it. When you arrived at the Ice Hawks, when we first chatted in Cleveland, you had a huge beard. Now it's down to a mustache, clean shaven, and, and you're a weekend. But tell us about your cause and, and what you're doing to help fight cancer. Yeah, um, I've had an uncle that was diagnosed with prostate cancer when I was 14 or 15 years old playing youth hockey, and he beat it. So um, it was uh, an amazing story and just the triumph and the will he had to, to beat cancer. And um, I was pretty supportive with him and his cause and his journey there. So uh, I know a lot of other families are going through similar circumstances and I just wanted to raise awareness for prostate cancer and uh, men's health and just uh, yeah overall men's health. Well how impactful was that? I mean that 14 years old that's a pretty young guy to see a family member go through that battle. I mean what kind of impact did that make on you emotionally, physically that you wanted to be like okay I need to do something to not only help him but help others going through similar situations? Yeah at the time um, you're pretty, you're pretty naive as to what uh, cancer fully entails. Um, the struggle, the the day-to-day -day hardship that uh, one with cancer has to deal with, uh, with the chemo, chemotherapy, radiation treatments. Um, so now, being of uh, an older age, a more distinguished age, I can uh, can raise some some funds for for a good cause, um, show some light on uh, maybe a, a neglected area for uh, men's health and. Um, just overall raising awareness. Now I know uh, as unfortunate as a situation like that can be, it can also bring a family closer together. What has that done for you and your relationship with your uncle? How much do you talk about his experiences through that and maybe use that as your own motivation, whether it's to help find a, find a cure for cancer or just your own motivation to, to go out and battle every night with, with him in your mind? Yeah, I think, uh, like I said earlier, just being so young at the time, you're not really completely sure what cancer is all about. You just know that it's pretty serious and can be terminal. Um, I think it has allowed for our relationship to develop into a greater one, um, without a doubt, because he's still here to this day. We converse uh, pretty frequently, so um, I just like picking his brain, and he's got that growth mindset where he, he never gives up, and he's a fighter, so I always uh, stay true to that. Now you're teaming up with Bro Vember here with the Rockford Ice Hogs, an organization that the Ice Hogs have supported for, for many, many seasons, and they are absolutely fantastic and keeping all the money here in the state line area. But in your early conversations to get this off the ground, you wanted to match fan donations up to $1,500. What inspired that? Because I know when a lot of fans see a player get behind a cause, especially like that, they want to come out and support him as much as possible. Yeah, I just thought it was a good opportunity to, um, to get my foot in the door here in Rockford and uh, distinguish myself as a, as a community guy. I mean, I am uh, really involved uh, wherever I've been, so um, just trying to do a good cause here and um, shed some light on prostate cancer and Brovember, the cause. Well, be sure to join the link, visit the link at the bottom of the screen throughout this entire interview. Again, the Ice Hogs, Annie and McCaution, donating to Brovember, the fight against cancer and prostate cancer here in the month of November. So icehogs.com to join his cause and to donate. But you mentioned that uh, it was your foot in the door here and, and quite an introductory statement for you with the Rockford Ice Hogs. Now it's been a couple weeks since we caught up in Cleveland. How are you adjusting? How are you uh, making yourself at home here in the state line? It's been good. I uh, just moved into my apartment here the other day. So I'm um, getting acclimated with the area and getting more familiar with the guys. We played uh, like six or seven games here since I've been here. So um, just getting that chemistry going and uh, that locker room bond that uh, is near and dear to all hockey players. Now I know you're getting back to work this afternoon, taking on the Chicago Wolves. Can't let you go before talking a little bit of hockey. You got on a nice little run there. Four game winning streak came to a close uh, at the end of that five game homestand. But where have you found your, your groove? You talk about chemistry and, 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 and generating that chemistry with your teammates. Where has that groove been for you? And ultimately, how do you see that prospering going forward with the Hogs? Uh, just the simplicity of knowing what your strengths are and uh, playing to your strengths. Um, this is my fourth year pro hockey, so I've seen a uh, fair share of good games and bad games, and you just got to stay uh, even keeled the whole time. So uh, you can't ride that roller coaster like we had the, the four game high there. Um, we just got to come back to work and uh, do it all over again. 
you know, I appreciate your time. Congratulations on uh, this outstanding cause and spearheading it for the Rockford Ice Dogs again. Visit the link. We're going to put it at the bottom of the screen in the comments section, like, post, share it any way you can as we want to have as much support for the fight against cancer here in the month of November. And, of course, Hockey Fights Cancer Night coming up at the end of the month, November 29th, so be sure to join the Ice Dogs at BMO Harris Bank Center for that evening as well. Ian, good luck this afternoon against Chicago. and look forward to catching up with you and seeing how the uh, mustache comes in over the month. Yeah, thank you. Week by week, check back in. Well, the Ice Hogs and Wolves back at it this afternoon. Let's get you to the action. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network.